Billy. Yeah? I just thought of the weirdest thing. What if someone is watching this video uh-huh. on August 11th at 2.06 p.m.? Not impossible. Wouldn't that be a trip? I'd get really freaked out for like 10 seconds and laugh a whole lot and then move on with my life as if nothing happened because nothing did. But was it really a coincidence? I'm talking to you, Robert. We've got our eye on you. Ah, threatening openings. We're the bittersweet gamers. I'm We Square. And I'm the opinionator. From episode 35, Hidden Scorpius writes, Is it me? Or is Moika too perturbed to simply be a cold-hearted assassin, though she is a cold-hearted bitch? She got loose-lipped and revealed that her entourage worked for CERN, and she also started to mutter some sort of madness mantra before pulling the trigger. Add to that her pseudo-mutism, and that makes me wonder if there's something that severely affected her. And I'm 100% speculating right here. But what if that something was done by CERN? Yeah, there has got to be something else up with Moika. She didn't want to pull the trigger. She was pretty forthcoming with Okarin. When when he had a gun to her back. But she did say that they worked for CERN that first time and then was immediately told, knock it off. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if CERN did something to her. Now, clearly something did happen to her, and she might be something of a victim, though not without responsibility. We don't know. We don't know anything about her at all. So we're not... I'm not going to try and pretend that I do. Like, I do think you have a really good point. The other rounders were not pseudo-mute, insane people. Or if they were, they just kept their mouth shut because they were fully mute, insane people. <laughs> but the other rounders that we've run into all seem, you know, like the conspiratorial... Professional hitmen. Yes, exactly. Exactly that. So why is it that the person in charge, who's the only one with special duds, is the only one who is absolutely out of her mind? Like, why have the crazy person be the leader? There's got to be something going on with this. If she's receiving information from future CERN, are they using Time Leap to give her other people's memories? Is that how they're communicating with her, maybe? I have no idea! Uh, the, the first thing that came to my mind, you know, sending someone else's memories to someone should mess them up pretty, pretty sufficiently. Alternately, it could be one of those she was groomed from birth. To have extremely poor social skills? Yes. All part of CERN's master plan. No, that kind of makes sense. I mean, we know that it has to happen to somebody or they wouldn't have made a big deal about it. We were assuming that person was Okarin, but... Number two, it would make sense if she were the leader, if she were the one who's... Getting rece- data. The data. If, if she's the one who's receiving the memories. Yeah, yeah. And why she would probably be obsessed with finding out who the heck keeps jumping into her head. Someone named FB who sent... Well, okay, maybe not someone named FB who sends the memories, his own memories or something, but that is actually pretty plausible, I think. And that would explain why she's got a lot of problems. Like, she can easily communicate like normal with a phone, but her her brain's fried from... Something. Well, from receiving memories. It was your idea, man. Well, right, 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 right. I'm just saying that even if that isn't the case, her brain is clearly affected by something. That makes it hard for her to talk. Are you... are you refuting your own theory? Maybe I am. Right. Okarin has just time leapt two days back after getting the skinny from Joan Titer. The plan is to try to somehow fix the time machine. In two days. All right. Now I have two more days. Of course, we still have to make sure the Time Leap machine does get completed. Plus, I have to accost Suzuha and make her explain everything to everyone again. (laughs) The weirdest thing about this, in the last episode, I, I had said that one of the reasons, or maybe the one before that, I don't know. Sense of time gone! I had said that everyone other than Okarin, who loses a loved one, only has to watch them die once. Okarin has to watch Mayuri die over and over and over, and the weirdest thing about that 
if he gets to spend a small amount of non-quality time with her over and over every time. Uh, it's, it's That is so bizarre. Can you imagine how that must make you feel? Must be torturous. I suppose it has been reinforcing his drive. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got hope now. Well, yeah, now he does. I immediately head downstairs to see Suzuha. Let's make this quick. <laughs> when I explain the situation, Suzuha <laughs> races to Radikan to confirm my story. <laughs> After she realizes that I'm telling the truth, I take her back to the lab and I'll repeat the explanation she gave us before I time leap. Oh, excellent. I'm glad that we're finally moving along at a brisk pace. <laughs> We come to the conclusion that all we can do right now is try our best to repair Suzuha's time machine. Are you gonna be okay, Daru? This is all you, you know. <laughs> Basically, no one other than you can do anything here. <laughs> or there. Or anywhere. Well, there are other people who are competent that exist in the world. No. What? It is really hard to sneak into Radikan in the daytime. There isn't a crowd out front like before, but pedestrian traffic remains constant. Still no sign of guards. You can tell that's how seriously they take the security here. Because they don't ever employ anybody to... Uh-huh. It takes us about 30 minutes to find a way in, but fortunately we probably only have to do this once. But the moment Daru tried to step aboard the time machine, Suzuha began acting in a really conspicuous way. <laughs> you want to take a commemorative picture or something? I mean, that's fine, but... You want to go buy a metal lupa? I don't think you gotta worry about that right now. It's just the point that I'm getting at. It should be fine. Should be fine. She's all right. Wait a minute. Right when the game's telling everyone that Daru's stepping in, I have to remind everyone about Suzuha's father. That is, as they say, how it works. All right. I guess that was what she was doing right now. I thought Suzuha was lying about that. But when I turn to her, she looks away and doesn't want to engage with this question at all. <laughs> no, no it doesn't. <laughs> sure doesn't. That's why she spent so much time talking to him. Yep. I guess I can only think of like one time they've directly talked. And that was the explain it like eroi. Uh huh. Like the erotic. Eroge. That was with the. Shut up. Okay. Well, imagine you meet your young father and he turns out to be a complete perv. Well, see, that part's okay. She likely knew that already. But you meet your late father, he has no idea who you are. He cannot have the relationship with you that you have or that you remember. Mm -hmm. He cannot ever know anything about you. And especially if your father is Daru and you try to talk, he might hit on you. Y yeah. <laughs> okay, so honestly, the, the best thing she can get out of it is to just be with him, right? Yeah. いや。しかし。わあ、オカリンってば、ダメなんだよ。約束はね、ちゃんと守らなきゃ。What promise? この前約束したでしょ。鈴さんのお父さんはみんなで探そうって。Probably at the party he dragged her to that he doesn't remember. Mayushi, do you even know how long ago this was? <laughs> Get with the times! Nobody cares about this right now! <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
Mayuri reminded me that in this world line, we convinced her to stay by promising to help look for her father. So... That's right. 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 Well, yes, that's true. If Mayuri feels that strongly about it, there's no way I can refuse. And let's be fair, it's not like she can really help with repairing the time machine. Well... She can't really help with finding her father either, right? No, but it would be something for her to do. Shina Mayuri. Kimite. Iko da ne. Yeah. That's the thing that it really does, is just. It kind of helps convince Suzuha herself that this is something they ought to be doing, trying to save her. Yeah. Sano tori da yo. Mayuri knows what it's like to miss a parental figure. That she does. この町に来れば会えると思ったの。父さんはさ、<笑> <laughs> oh, she doesn't know. I mean, alternately we're wrong, but you can't just dangle all this stuff in front of us like that. Uh-huh. But if she's looking for a smart, hip, young, cool guy that's, like, attractive and badass and awesome, you just keep on looking. We all have to face disappointments in our life. No, my fault. That was his code name. Yeah. Um, so. so what's his name name? あ、外国人さん。うん。多分日本人。バレルタイターはレジスタンス時代のコードネーム。だから今の Right. So, what is his name? She might not know. So that's why Suzuha called herself John Titer. Oh, man. Okay, in that case, we're totally right. <laughs> like, it's Daru. Yeah. Did you ever know him? Maybe she didn't. He might have died before she was born. Or that. Apparently, he was really turned on by the Large Hadron Collider. <laughs> I really do think it's significant that she and Daru never talk. Everyone else talks to her. That's true. Pinbachi? That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a nice pin. Yeah. It reads... O S H M R M R M R M A seven zero one zero. Ah, I don't know what that means. Seventy ten. Kore, Tosan no katami nanda yo ne. What is it? Katami. Daru, Google te miro. Yeah, Daru. Daru runs a search, but gets only incomprehensible foreign sites. They're all porn. He narrows the search down to Japanese sites, but even then, none of the results look relevant.
全然わかんねえ。I guess アルシュムルフクス、アクマロシュ、It almost fits with Arkham。I think it might be a、uh...。I think it might be an acronym. Demo, demo. Yeah, it's like a sun with an arrow coming. Well, it looks like through it rather than around it, but. A sun or a gear? Oh, no, that's a gear, yeah. Yeah.、Uh, o S H. Mida. No, it's not Mida because it ends with an A. But if you move things around, then it does. Ah, stop! With Suzuha's permission, Mayuri takes a picture of the pin. Hi! This, this gives her something to do. Yeah. And with Daru and Kurisu's votes, we unanimously agree to help Suzuha find her father. When we can spare the time, but she'll be happy. Thank you. I entirely do not mean to sound dismissive when I say that. That's fair. So. A couple things that I remember that we'd said about that meetup,、uh -huh. the offline meet that Daru was going to,、yeah. that Suzuha also wanted to go to because she had information her father was going to be there.、Uh -huh. Interesting that he put in his will that he was going to be at this meetup. <laughs> she was convinced he was going to be there, but instead, she went to the party, the one that Okarin <laughs> had drugged Daru, Daru to. to. And then he drug her to it. So, <laughs> did he know? So, that is, I guess, the Mitzka Niner, sir. It's muddy. I don't mean to knock up that the Kododa to Moshi. The Doya de Sagasun. How much free time do you have? Right? You have to finish the time leap machine, repair the time machine, and find her father? I mean, you don't have to look very hard for that, but you don't know this! Pin Batch is a hint of a nine and a half. Coreo Motoni Sriska Nidero. Mochiwa Mochiata Moyushi. Mania no shop at the Miro. Don't you think that pin might be a logo for the future gadget lab? That's why I was thinking Mirai for a second, but I mean, obviously it can't be that, but yeah, kind of like that. Like it's got the gear to symbolize the gadget and then an arrow pointing forward to the future? Yeah, yeah. That's why I was trying to make it fit. Is this one? I mean,. It just doesn't have otaku stuff. Kurisu is back at the lab working on the time leap machine. Honestly, maybe she really doesn't need Daru at this point. Not at this point. Yeah. It needs to be complete by 2 p.m. on the 13th. If she's late, it could affect my ability to time leap, which would lower my chances of saving Mayuri. She might just need his help to hook everything up in the back. She knows for a fact that she can complete it because、yeah. she does. So that's got to make that's got to make it easier for her. Speaking of Mayuri, she wandered off somewhere in search of Suzuha's father. Are you Suzuha's father? Are you Suzuha's father? Doda. Kono naka, muchakucha atsui ken ni tsuite. Mushiburo te level ja ne zo. Kono enten ka de machine no naka ni itara. You know, we've laughed at him for his laugh at him qualities. And I really don't like the way he talks. I like Daru just fine, but I don't like the way he talks. Oh, it gets so irritating. But, you know what he's got? Skills. Forget the skills, the world class skills. He has got so much work ethic. That's true. 
like with just without saying too much and just a few complaints he will sit down in front of something and just work until he dies or something <laughs> ちなみにこのマシンバランス崩して下に落ちたりしないよないやまだ確証はないけどでもさちょっと触ってみて気づいたんだよねおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやお
Why not just the Oshma? The Oshma? The Oshma. Okay, it's the Oshma. It's the Oshma. We're searching for something with the same cryptic logo as this mysterious pin. Honestly, I didn't think it would be this difficult. Akiba has plenty of... Oh my god, I just... <laughs> I have to get this out of my... Okay. I have to get this out of the way before anything else, uh -huh. all right? There's only two people that can do work, so they're doing the work, and the other characters are just playing around. Yes. Mm hmm 100%. And that is... This is the chef, Okari. This man makes food. He doesn't sell pins, you idiot. <laughs> Akiba has plenty of niche stores, but they're all for electronic goods and PC parts. There aren't that many selling accessories like Suzuha's pin. We check every one we can find, but come up empty-handed. Worse yet, none of the employees have any leads for us. Not even the cat did. <laughs> we even check nearby neighborhoods like Ueno and Asakusa. Nothing. If only we knew someone who was intimately familiar with all the business that goes on in Akihabara. Wait a minute. Well, she hasn't showed up lately in the story, so I figure it's time. Maybe we should go back and ask Daru if he has any ideas. Like, if it were him designing it, what would he think? <laughs> Give him the right frame of reference to think about what it could stand for? Like computer code or something? I, uh... Suzuha and I returned to the lab with heavy hearts. Man, I really thought that cat lead was going to be a good one, too! おかえり。その顔じゃ成果はなしか。だるわ。戻ってない。暗くなったし、直接帰ったんじゃない。well, the important work is already being undertaken <laughs> by the only people who can do the important work. <laughs> Except for the people that don't know we're doing it to save Mayuri. But that's okay. Oh. I start up the computer and search the net for communities of people who collect unique pins. Which is, seems like a good idea. It'd take forever, but they're the ones who might actually be able to give you a lead if we didn't already know. Now, we don't know what it is, but some sort of future Gadget Lab logo makes sense, right? 100%. I'll investigate tomorrow based on the information I find. There's a pin collecting group on a side called Frepara, where everyone shows off their collections. I post there asking for information. I'm sleeping on the couch when a loud alarm rings in my ears. No. Good morning. <laughs> Don't say it like that. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Ah, uh, 6.52 a.m. Around the time I go to sleep. <laughs> Yes, yes, we get it. Alright. Alright, so it's just the divergence detector! Yep. Divergence meter. Now, we can see the in Okay, so now that we understand how the attractor field theory, or not theory, it's a fact, how the attractor fields work, like how the universe is constructed, what's divergence measured from? It's yeah. less relative and more absolute than it was before. Yeah, I bet we'll find out. I was in the 2036th century, so I was in the 0% of the world, so I was in the 0% of the world, so I was in the 0% of the world, but I was in the 0% It still isn't absolute. Did you make it? If she could have built it, right? Then she'd be working on the time machine. 
これはニキシー管だないいセンスだ未来ガジェット9号に認定したいぐらいだ Whoever made it こ<笑>れ一体どういう仕組みなの世界線の数値化なんて可能とは思えない私もわかんない。And don't ask, you won't find out. But it works and that's what counts. わからない。That's pretty good poem. <laughs> Man, that guy has great taste. <laughs> How should I know? What, you're gonna say your dad or something? Come on. Man, I mean, not even Daru could make something like that. Oh! Surprise! Huh? Well, I guess who else could? I suppose so, yeah. The only guy that can see the dang stuff. So once he figured out the. the... Theory behind reading Steiner, he was able to make a device that does it. Yeah, apparently. Okay. But if they've got a machine that takes your brain data and turns it into readable computer data, that might have something to do with it. Okay, the only thing that Kurisu's VR machine does is take your, is record the entirety of your memory. Right now. I, I, I mean, sure. I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm speculating here. So, Nanoko. このメーターがあれば、岡部以外でも世界線の変動を確認できる、そういうことか。違う違う。So it is getting closer to the world line that she came from.Yeah. But what does that mean? 多分、ここに表示されている数値が変化しても、それに気づけるのは岡部凛太郎だけ。はそれじゃあ意味ないじゃないもっとまともなもの作りなさいよ岡部<笑> I hadn't actually thought about it that way but it is that isn't it、yeah. it's totally useless it's, it's a totally useless machine even though it works exactly as intended it's just that no one is actually able to read it <笑> or notice when it changes yeah it will display the correct numbers It's just that those numbers aren't of use to anybody not named Okabe Dintaro. <laughs> All right. This is slightly out of nowhere, but the way that we have always recorded our videos since they're like generally an hour or longer, we break them up into smaller chunks to prevent like technical errors from、yeah. happening. We've always done it this way. And when we do, we usually take like a five minute break. We just did that. And as we were taking the five minute break, We were thinking about this pen. Well, it's Daru's pen, right? And isn't that the future gadget lab? A gear for the gadget and the arrow pointing towards the future? Daru, huh? So Billy was like, Hashida, and looked down, and then was like, oh, there's an S and an M, like Shina Mayuri, and then. Okabe Rintaro, Shina Mayuri, Hashida Itaru. Makisei Kurisu. Number、yeah. five was Kiryu Moeka. Number six was Unushibara Ruka. Number seven was.、Uh, Beiris Nyanyan. Akiba Rumiho. And then number eight, Amane Suzuha. We have no idea what the 7010 is, but、uh, you know, it's the future gadget lab pen. Yeah. That also is a complete 100% confirmation of Daru, too, isn't it? <laughs> so, Billy just, even though we had spent time on it while we were going, Billy looked at it for like three seconds, <laughs> came to the <laughs> idea, <laughs> and I reminded him of everybody's names. Yep. There you have it. <laughs> Moving on! This is something I made. <laughs> Something only I could make. I made it and it really works. Wow! <laughs> this, is, this is a strange feeling. I, normally my stuff is really kind of lame, but it's pretty funny. Hey, that Moad snake saved the day. 
we thought it saved his life, but it definitely enabled him to use the time leap. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for the Moad Snake, he wouldn't have been able to time leap. They wouldn't have let... Well, but it seems maybe they, obvious. Maybe yeah. they would have, but it doesn't matter. They didn't know that. I can't imagine we're wrong about that either, that certain or the rounders were letting him continue to time leap. Of course they were. They didn't take the dang thing. They left his room un unguarded, even though they knew that he would come back here. And then they drove him to the lab once. Yeah. Anyway, aside from that, none of his gadgets generally ever do anything except this one and the Moad Snake. <laughs> it works. And not only is it his special gadget, only he can use it. I wouldn't be surprised if she has, but the way they've talked... Yeah. I guess he's not really working on anti-CERN resistance the same way that Suzuha is. Probably not. Because he can use it? Yeah. There, there we go. Now, another thing that I want to think about, when she said to him, I want you to be the Messiah, did that mean anything? Or is it just baiting? I suspect it might have been baiting. Yeah. Or maybe she really does feel about him like that. It's a fact that if they're able to succeed, it will be because of his ability. So. Mm -hmm. Each person. Oh, wow. I, maybe. She, okay. Okay. She didn't know it. Okay. I'm, I can't remember when they, when Suzuha and Okabe met. Because once she met him, she knew that he was hoing Kyoma. Oh, yeah. But were they... They were talking on Atchan before she knew, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then it was like after that, she knew exactly who he was. Yeah. And isn't that interesting to think about? Hey, have you talked to John Tyner yet? <laughs> she really was just shouting it at the top of her lungs, but still. So, I stare at the glowing red numbers. They don't budge. Why should they? Just another 0.6%. It seems so easy. I, I, I don't notice when it turns up to now. That's why she wanted him to text her or email her every time he changed the world line. So she could be like, oh. Well, she wouldn't know, though. I suppose, yeah, I suppose that does make sense. Only someone with reading Steiner can actually recognize. When this changes, you're right. Creepy. Based on recommendations from the BBS thread, I spend the morning visiting stores in Akiba. It is still entirely likely that this gets made, right? Like, maybe at the end of the game, they kind of make it to commemorate what happened. Ah, uh, that, that doesn't bode very well for Ferris and Luca, does it? No, it doesn't, Ferris Bjorn Bjorn. <laughs> But although I hit just about every kind of store that could be considered niche, I'm unable to find anything that resembles Suzuha's pin. Maybe I should go all the way to Ikebukuro or Nakano. Eh, don't waste your time. I start heading back to the lab, but just then, a mysterious pin-making street vendor <laughs> catches my eye. What are you buying? This is the first time I've seen such a stylish street stand in Akiba. Most vendors just sell random junk. Guess it always looks like junk if you don't know what you're looking for. 
It's not like I have anything to lose, so I walk over and check out the selection. Among the various accessories, I see a number of metal pins. It's obviously a custom job. Come on. I don't see the Oshima logo on any of the displayed accessories, but I'd better ask just to be sure. Uh, he's one of those guy jeans, <laughs> so maybe I should use English? Hey, my name is Kabe Mintano. I'm, wait, I'm sorry. Ho ho in Kyoma. You Kono Pim Moteru? Yes, yes. That's how it's going to go, right? Hey, Master. <laughs> Off to a good start. I am Mad Scientist. I'm not, not too far off! <laughs> so cool! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. It's even better. <laughs> this is funny every time, and I'm gonna tell you something. The only people that do this in Japan are, in fact, like, Americans. But... <laughs> But Americans in Japan that do this, do this for fun. <laughs> Hi, Nandeska. <this> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's also like, did this guy just call me a son of a bitch or... Hey, my brother! <laughs> I may have told this story before in another Let's Play but one thing that always stuck out to me about my time in Japan was like I was at a train station and I was leaving the train station and just this random guy about my age, like I wasn't alone and neither was he, but he turns and points at me <laughs> and he's like, hey, American. And I went, yeah. And like I put my, I threw my arms up and then he threw his arms out like real wide and went hamburger and i went hamburger right back and then we and then he started running at me and so i ran at him and then we gave each other a hug laughed a whole lot and, and then we just walked off it's pretty awesome that does sound pretty excellent ah. this creepy guy stares at it for a while then shrugs and shakes his head in the exaggerated manner typical of people imitating westerners in a caricaturish way Oh, one of those, huh? What is he saying? By the way, this <laughs> That is really hard to understand. <laughs> By the way. So cool! So cool! Just in case, I give him my contact information and ask him to get in touch if he finds out anything. And I turn to leave. Okabe Rintaro. You, you have to talk like that to foreigners. It's the only thing they understand. Hey, in my personal experience, I have encountered this. <laughs> Shut up. No, Amane Suzuha, you are wrong. That was awesome. Yes, you don't know enough to say otherwise, so there. No, it never was either, but that's just not the point. So now I got to go. No, it's not that either. Didn't she also say that the population was just something like one billion people? Uh-huh. 
外国人を見たのはこの時代に来てから。So in the future, no one's allowed to leave Japan? Japan was like that a few centuries ago too, when the Tokugawa shogun had closed the country to the west. It sounds like CERN set international relations back hundreds of years. Yeah, I guess in a lot of ways, CERN could be considered sort of like Tokugawa. <laughs> nah, not really a fan of the Bakufu. Perhaps that's why there's no war in Suzuha's time. It's hard for conflicts to emerge when races and cultures cannot interact. Sounds kind of like a prison with invisible walls, guarded by CERN and the Committee of 300. Huh. Who naturally have absolute power. I mean, ending war is obviously a good thing, but at the cost of like six billion plus people and the destruction of all freedom? At the cost of humanity? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't let my fears about the future overtake me. If I was gonna do that, I wouldn't be working on a time machine. <laughs> I should be more concerned about the issue at hand. The sunlight beats on my head, making it hard to think. <laughs> Ow! God, my head! Ah! Assault! Assault! I feel like I'm standing in a sauna. No, you're standing in a sauna. Good job, Billy. <laughs> This heat is driving me nuts! Why does the sun hate me so much? Shining in the center of the sky like he owns a damn place! Sun! You set right now! Damn it! Why can't we find any inf. inf I don't know. <laughs> Why can't we find any information on that pen? <sighs> I suppose it's no skin off my back if we don't find Suzuha's father, but it'd be nice. Well, anyway, speaking of Suzuha's father, as long as Daru <laughs> fixes the time machine, nothing else matters. So, why do I feel so bad about my lack of progress? I really don't know. It's. Apprehension. What is waiting for him? The closer they draw to Mayushi's death, the more apprehensive he's going to be. Oh, I was thinking about that when they were wandering around, that I'm not sure I wouldn't succumb to the, like, the constant pressure. But, I mean, he's feeling bad about his lack of progress finding her father here. That too. That I mean,、too. he is actually a nice guy who sort of. Will spontaneously go out of his way to help other people or just to do something nice for certain people. Yeah. Maybe I'm just frustrated by my own powerlessness. Like, if I could just accomplish something, then maybe I'd feel better. I can't save Mayuri. I can't fix Suzuha's time machine. I can't even help Kurisu with the time leap upgrade. The only thing I can do is build this machine in 11 years that nobody else can use other than me. So, what am I good for? The only thing I can do is help Suzuha find her father. That should have been your first instinct, but okay. Well, it's still worth looking because what if the answer was at the pen vendor around the corner and you never asked? Fair point. I feel a surge of anger at her words. Here I am, stewing in self loathing, and she acts like it doesn't matter? みんなお前のためを思って頑張っているのだと分かっているのか<笑>俺だってマユリを助けることを何より優先したいんだ<笑>それでもお前はラボメンであり仲間だその仲間が困っているから助けたいそんなマユリの気持ちを組んでこうして探しているのにお前が松崎に諦めてどうする <laughs> This makes me kind of wonder if, say, nothing works, she ends up going back, if she might 
seek out Okabe Rintaro. In the, uh, her few, in her present? Yeah. Like, isn't this actually the sort of thing that would make him good at leading a resistance movement? Yeah. Unfortunately, there's all the issues of competence, but... He's good at being a symbol. Yes, he is. That and may... he built the divergence meter! Being a symbol may be the only thing that he's really good at, that and encouraging other people, but charisma and the ability to wear the mantle of authority are very rare talents. Mm -hmm. It's much less difficult to find people who are effective at doing things and accomplishing goals. Yeah. Everyone who is charismatic tells that to themselves as they fail. <laughs> oh, buddy. No, it's a really admirable quality. My ranting is pointless. Damon cries on the inside. <laughs> Sound and fury signifying nothing. I tell myself to calm down. This is, this is just my own feelings of impotence boiling over and lashing out at her, and that's not really fair. <laughs> He is understandably stressed. Yeah. It's too awkward to make eye contact right after an argument. Sate. I wonder how the other lab mems are progressing. I'm especially concerned about Daru. He really is the type to work himself to death. Depending on the situation, he might need some relief. <laughs> like David just said. I'll bring him a bottle and he can pee in it. That'll be good enough, right? <laughs> and then there's Mayuri. She's been working alone, trying to find some information on Suzuha's father. I wonder what she's been doing. I was about to say the same thing. Although we still have over 24 hours before that happens, I can't help but worry about leaving her alone. This is also like the only quality time that he does get to spend with her. Oi, oi. What is <laughs> I hate it when you talk to me on the phone. Oh, it's been ready for five hours. I'm just joking. <laughs> it's not my fault you didn't bring any water with you. <laughs> Buy an oscillating fan and hook it up and just point it at him. <laughs> there was that one store that had plenty of them. Yeah, that's right. That <laughs> fan store. Here. I quit complaining and get back to work, friend! Kick. <laughs> That's my favorite right arm. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best. It's just not meant to be. <laughs> not in the cards. <laughs> Likely. Yeah. That gives me about two more hours today to search for the pen. If that fails, tomorrow morning will be our last chance. These two extra days have gone by faster than expected. Okay, this was the point that the guy told us that we need to 
reload from that original save and make different choices. Oh, really? Yes. The part where he calls Daru while he's with Amane. So we're going to have to go back there, make some choices, and then catch up on the extra scenes. Okay, well, that's a slightly awkward place to end then, but uh, there you have it. So Such is the decree of the guide. The choice of Stein's gate. The decision of Monokuma's guide. Well, they're the same thing, right? <laughs> we're on to you, mastermind Monokuma. I guess what we're going to do then, in the next episode, we'll start with the extra scenes, and I guess we'll work through the males that are different? Because there will be different mail, right? Well, maybe there won't be, maybe there will be. We haven't, we don't look ahead in the guide. That would totally beat the whole point. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody. This has been Suzuha's Dad, the episode, also known as Daru is a Dad. <laughs> Good for him. Daru approves. Now quit hitting on your daughter, you effing perv. <laughs> uh.